Hi, I'm Bob Schwab, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Brad. Bob. Today we're going to talk about the one exercise everyone should do on a plane. Why? Uh, well, we're going to go into that. Okay. Uh, first off, if you're, especially on flights that are longer than seven or eight hours, uh, this is really critical. But maybe you know this, maybe you don't know this, but when you're on an airplane, you're at a higher risk of developing blood clots in your leg. Usually in the calf, Usually correct? Usually in the calf, mm -hmm. maybe even in the thigh. And I don't remember that uh, correspondent, I think his name was David Bloom. He, he worked for, um, for CNN. He, he worked in the Iraqi war. He was a young guy who actually developed a blood clot. It broke off, went up into his lung, and uh, gave, it, gave him a pulmonary embolism, and he died. Sure, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, you remember that? Mm -hmm. So, and he, I, when reading about him, he actually was, he was taking long flights, sure. but he was also in the tank for right. a long time. So right. it could be on airplanes, but also anytime you're gonna be you know, immobile for a long time on a bus or uh, you know, anything. Right, like that. seated so, position. Right. Mm -hmm. The reason it's worse than an airplane is because they, they, they said you're, you're seated, you're not moving. Two, there's less air flowing on an airplane, which I didn't know, right. a little right. hypoxia. And then number three is a lot of times people get dehydrated on a plane. They're just um, not drinking as much They're not drinking fluids. because they don't want to go in the bathroom. Right. You know, so make sure you are drinking plenty of fluids also on the flight. And on, also you're going to want to do this exercise. Let's do the exercise right now. Brian. But not beer. Beer, probably not. No. That'll probably dehydrate <laughs> you a little bit, right? Right. Okay. So. All right, Lonnie's going to take it down. Brad's going to show the side view. I'm showing the frontal view here. And ready to go, Brad? Sure. First, we're just going to tap the toes. That's it? Yep. Well, we can tap toes, but you can also tap heels. Sure. That way you get the muscles in the front going and yep. the muscles in the back, pushing that flow, making that blood flow. A couple increase. minutes, probably every hour, wouldn't you say, Brad? Sure. You mean you can do it more? Now, if you're at risk, Okay, did we do it enough, Brad? I think they got the idea. Sure. All right, come back up, Lonnie. Right. Come ba back up to our beautiful faces. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. People who are at risk um, should definitely maybe look at even doing more than this. If right. you're over 40, if you're a female and you're taking oral contraceptions, mm -hmm. uh, if you have varicose veins, if you're obese, or if you have genetic thrombophilia, which mm -hmm. is, a, I think, a pre predisposition to developing clots. Right, and you, you probably know you, you have You would it. probably know that, yeah. Right. Then you might have to wear compression stockings, mm -hmm. or you might have to take, you know, maybe you're already on heparin or something like that. Sure, some medication. So. Uh, so they're gonna do these like every 20 minutes, every half hour? Gonna... Every half hour, every hour. I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd probably every, ha um, every half hour to sure. be safe. Sure, yep. So. All right, yep. especially on those trips to Europe. Just think if everyone in the whole plane started doing it, the whole plane might start That'd shaking. That'd be fun, Maybe it? get some resonance on the plane. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> you got a weird mind, Brad. All right, thanks.